Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have in store for you uh, is I have negative 3 is less than 4 minus x, which is less than or equal to 3. Um, so in this case, what we're going to simply do is we need to solve for x. Now remember, um, this is an and statement. This is a compound, and it's going to be and. So we're going to be looking for the intersection of our two uh, um, intersection of our two solutions. So one way we could do is cover up each end and then solve the inequality separately. The other way we could also just solve it directly from here by using our properties of equality on both sides of each inequality sign. So the first thing we need to do is understand well what is happening to the variable. And this one gets a lot of students um, because what's happening to the variable is being multiplied by negative 1 is being added by 4. And a lot of students say well no that's not what's happening. But let's look at it a different way. Let's rewrite the equation as a addition problem. So these are the exact same. 4 minus x is the exact same thing as negative x plus 4. But when writing it as an addition problem, we can now see that, oh yeah, negative 1 is being multiplied by x, and I am adding a 4. These are equal to each other. So now, um, now what I'm simply going to do is use my inverse operation. So the first inverse operation I want to do is undo addition and subtraction. So I'll subtract a 4. Now usually we say whatever you do on the left side, you do on the right side, right? Well, whatever you do on the inside of your inequality, compound inequality, you've got to do to the outside on both sides. So negative 3 minus 4 is now a negative 7. Less than uh, negative x less than or equal to 3 minus 4 um, is going to be a negative 1. Now we need to undo div uh, multiplying by negative 1. So I'll divide by negative 1. And just like when we solve for inequality and we have to multiply and divide by a negative number, we have to switch the sign. So now it's positive 7 is less than x. And, um, bu, 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 bu. and x is less than or equal to positive 1. So therefore, I can rewrite this as x is greater than, uh, x is greater than 7 as well as x is less than or equal to 1. So now, going from a and, I have now turned this into a or statement, where it has to be true for one or uh, on the other. So now, to go ahead and graph this, uh, what I'm simply going to do is just go ahead and graph each one of these solutions separately. OK, so we need to make sure we include 1, 2, 3. Uh, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7. And let's do 8, and let's do 0. So to graph this, what I see is I see have 7, and you can see it's x greater than 7. So since it's not greater than or equal to, that's an open circle. And all values greater than, just say it out loud, x greater than 7. So that's now going to be all numbers to the right, because all the numbers to the right are greater than 7. And then x is less than or equal to 1. Those are going to be all the values to the left. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, there you can see is I have x is greater than 7 as well as x is less than or equal to 1. They do not intersect. Um, those are going to be your two or statements. Thanks.